car which previously belonged to William Tyrrell's foster grandmother has been seized in Sydney as part of investigations into the boy's disappearance seven years ago. The master was seized under a coronial order last week with examinations expected to take several weeks. Meanwhile, authorities spent last night conducting forensic examinations of the Kendall home where William was last seen alive. Teams are focusing on an area below the second story balcony, scouring the scene for any clues as police reveal this week they are looking for remains in these latest searches. The Clinical Services Building at Coffs Harbour Health Campus is now operational with services such as maternity and intensive care and surgical units moving into the new building in a staged approach over the next two weeks. The emergency department opened this morning as well as the front reception and inquiries area with the Pink Ladies Cafe due to serve its first customers tomorrow. COVID-19 screening on arrival at the new hospital and visitor restrictions remain in place. The Mid-Coast Council area has recorded a further 19 COVID cases, with the majority from Taree and Wingham. Meanwhile, two new cases have also been confirmed in the Port Macquarie Hastings local government area, with one of these linked to a known case or cluster, and the source of the infection of the other case is under investigation. Now, the first stage of works of the boat ramp and car park upgrades at Westport Park have been completed. Port Macquarie Hastings Council says the new boat wash down bay car spaces and over 30 boat trailer parking spots are open for use. The final stage of construction will begin next week and access to the boat ramp will be limited. We'll have more news later.